Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley. Gosh, I got something weird going on with my hair. I've been over in Hazelhurst meeting with some of my folks, and gosh, we had we had fun. Let me flip this around so you can read the um, board. All right. So this is just going to be a short and sweet tonight. I'm I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this because I'm I'm putting together a diabetes course on. Um, how to reverse insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, and diabetes. It's gonna be a four-week course. It's gonna be coming up soon. But um, I just I just had to I had to share this tonight because it's such groundbreaking news about diabetes. And you know, I think the reason that um, and I kind of have to be careful, but I think the reason that you're not seeing more of this. Although, although you know, it's, it's getting out there is because, you know, there's so much money in, hey, Karen, there is so much money in, um, in diabetes. There is so much in it. But I have seen with my own eyes and witnessed it and have even posted videos of my clients that have reversed their diabetes. They've come off of their medicine and they've, uh, they've come off their insulin and um, they're good. They've come off of their blood pressure medicine. I've even had type one diabetics that have lowered their insulin almost down to none, literally. And they're doing fasting and they're doing the ketogenic diet. And so I want you to know that there is hope. If you, if you are moving toward diabetes, and here's, here's a test, okay? Let's just, let's just do a test right quick, all right? So if you stand, with your feet apart and you look down, if you can't see your toes, you're pre-diabetic, all right? You're insulin resistant, all right? And really all insulin resistance is, is it's an overflow process. It's where you have put so much starch and sugar carbs into your body over it could be over seven years 10 years 15 20 years even that eventually the cell won't receive the insulin okay the glucose can't get in so what happens is uh the fat in the cell oozes out all right so uh, the fat oozes out literally from the, your liver cells. So you, you basically have fatty liver. And that's why when people turn sideways, if they're thick, you pretty much know, uh, you just caught me out with that test, who is that? Okay, I'm, okay. I can't, I can't, I'm scared if I, okay, hey Ariel. <laughs> okay, so I called you out, so now you know. It's what you don't know that hurts you, but once you know, then you gotta, you gotta do something, all right? And so what, what this problem is through here is that you've gotten fat around your organs. It's not about sugar in the blood, although that is not good. But what it really is about is about the fat that is oozing out and, and it's about your fatty liver. Well, Atticus, my dog's just come right down here and he's just having him a fun time right at my feet, which is fine. Okay, so um, so a fatty liver, what causes this is take, it taking in a lot of carbohydrates over a long period of time, and you're, you're, so you're going to have high insulin and then obesity. So, uh, yeah, so Tracy's on here. This program will work for you, then you will see your feet. Yeah, okay, so maybe that's what we need to, to name the program is the See Your Feet program. See your feet again program. We had it, some of my clients named it a keep me out of the nursing home program. But anyway, all right, so uh, I wanna do this demo again, and I, I've done it so many times, but you know, there are people that haven't heard it, and every time I do it, it just reminds me of all of the, the fallacy that is out there in the world about diabetes and type 2 diabetes and the only thing to do for it is insulin. Well, let me tell you what happens with insulin. What insulin does, yes, it takes the sugar out of the blood. That's what it's supposed to do, all right? It's supposed to remove, but it pushes it into your body. So it's in your organs. 
and then they break down. And what happens is they rot. That's what uh, gangrene is. That's what, that's what raising your levels of insulin from the, the doctors giving you more and more and more and more, rather than reversing the disease, he is causing, or he's not, the medication is causing disease, all right? So here we go. All right, so here's what I've got here. These two jars, all right? This is the amount of blood that's in your body. So we'll just say four liters, four to five liters, okay? Now, if I were to check your blood sugar, okay, and it was 90, let's just say 80 to 90, then that would be about a teaspoon of sugar. Now, let's know, let's get this straight. Sugar is made up of fructose and fructose, fructose and glucose, all right? So, um, fructose is metabolized by your liver and it turns into fat. Glucose, on the other hand, is not, okay? So, um, so this eating the fructose actually spills uh, that into the blood. And um, let me see, I just want to make sure I got my notes right. And so when you give insulin, then the insulin doesn't get rid of the sugar that's in the organs in the liver. It just gets rid of what's in the blood. And so that's why it becomes a chronic illness and you have to keep taking medication. All right, but stay tuned because I've got some good news at the end. All right, so here we go. So if you've got a, a if, you, if you have a teaspoon of, of sugar in your blood, then your blood sugar is about 80 or 90. Well, here's the, here's the news. The average American eats 36 teaspoons a day of sugar. And so what happens to that extra sugar? It gets stored as fat around the middle. Think about a bear hibernating in winter. What do they do? They eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. They eat a lot of fruits, really, berries and, and seeds or whatever they can get. And they store all that up so that they can fast all winter and, and they use, when they come out of their hibernation, if you've ever seen one, a picture of one, um, then they're all skinny, but it's because their body metabolized what they had. And that's what happens to my clients. That's what happens to my people that do my program. Okay. Now, sorry, I had my, I had my phone on Wi-Fi. That's the problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, you crave sugar. The reason you crave sugar is because you're not fat adaptive. But once you get fat adaptive, then you don't crave sugar anymore. You heard the interview. Just go back and listen to the interview of Celine. I just had her... I just interviewed her an hour ago in, in Hazelhurst, and she said, I craved sugar all the time, and my body ached all over. She's like, now I don't, yeah, go listen to it. I mean, it's there. Okay, so if we can, if, so here's the good news. So how do you reverse type 2 diabetes? So what is type 2 diabetes? It's sugar in the blood and in the body. That's what people don't get they think it's just in the blood but it's literally in the body especially if it's you know it's been long term okay all right so think about this how do you uh you know what fagua is okay it's where they take a goose and they put a pipe down its throat and they feed it starch all right and why they're doing that is they want a fatty liver that's what fagua is a fatty liver okay and that's what people are doing every day with this fructose, with all of these complex carbs, sandwiches, bread, cereal, granola bars, uh, granola, uh, pizza, French fries. It's starch. We are, we are actually making foie gras in our body. And how do you reverse that? You, it's not hard. Somebody want to post? How are you going to reverse it? How are you going to reverse human fagua? How are you going to do that? It's simple. Tracy, you're on here. Put in the comments, how are you going to reverse it? Let's see if I can see you. Uh, okay. Uh, see your feet again program. All right, somebody, somebody post on here. 
How are you going to reverse foie gras? All right, so here we go. How to reverse type 2 diabetes, which is fatty liver, okay, insulin resistant. Number one, don't put any more sugar in. Yes, and that's what you do in my program. In the first week, you learn where the sugar is. You learn how to find the hidden, hidden sugars, where they are. Pack a ranch dressing. If you flip that over, the, that mix, uh, the second ingredient is maltodextrin. Sometimes it's the first ingredient. Yeah, okay. All right, there you go. I see you, uh, Ariel. All right, so uh, the, they have done, so doing a low-carb diet. So getting the sugar out. So getting your carbs down below 20. Because your body can metabolize that in a day. And you won't store any fat. but uh, And you won't raise your insulin levels up. But you got to learn where the sugars are. Just for instance, cashews have tons of carbs. And people think they're healthy. But they're not healthy. Because just about 8 or 10 of them is going to have about 30 carbs. 20 or 30 carbs. Okay? Alright. So the second thing to do is to burn off the fat. And how do you do that? How do you burn off the fat? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, fancy names are tricky. Yes, so there's so many names uh, for sugars. Yes, and they're hidden in, in so many things. Sucralose, fructose, maltodextrin. Uh, yes, on and on. I don't know what he's barking at, but anyway. Okay, so... You gotta get, you gotta burn the fat. And so how do you do that? You do that with intermittent fasting. And so if you don't put anything in your body, if you don't put food in, yeah, Atticus was trying to answer, you're right. <laughs> he's running from his mama. She's coming over here to get him and he's, he's not ready to go to bed yet, I don't think. Go Atticus, go, go. Y'all want to see Atticus? You got to see him. He's so beautiful. There he goes. <laughs> He's going to bed. He is a brown uh, Australian shepherd, and he is he is our joy. She just shut the door on him, though, so he's going to be back there. Okay. Um, all right, so two simple steps. It's not hard. Well, let me just say, it's not complicated. It might be hard. So... Uh, here we go. So don't put sugar in and burn it off with intermittent fasting. Now, you might be able to do that on your own, but I'm just going to tell you, I've had so many people, over 700 people, do my program, and here's what they'll tell you. You get a coach every day. You, I'm going to show up every day in the app, the 90 days. You're going to get exercise class that's on demand, you can do it when you want to, or you can do it with me. You're gonna learn how to do meditation. And that's so important. I mean, I've had people tell me it's the most important part of the program because you have to start at the top. You have to be mindful. You have to understand. Yes, it is so easy to backslide. And that's what I'm here for. So just like today, I got on the phone with one of my clients and she's starting her second challenge, and she said, I've kind of stalled out, and we set some goals for her, what she's going to do, and we're going to talk every week for five or ten minutes and hit the reset button, okay? So, uh, yep, that's what's different, okay? And then, so meditation, uh, grounding, walking outside barefooted. Now, it may not be the time of year for that, but I did it today for about 20 minutes, um, you're going to learn exactly what to eat. You're going to have a recipe book. You're going to have recipes. You're going to be in a, in a Marco Polo app. It's a video app where I jump on every morning or every day, at least once a day, sometimes twice, and give you tips on what to do, how to think what to do when the weekend's coming, what to do when the holiday's coming, what to do when you're going to a, a shower or a birthday party or whatever and then in the app in the daily app you're going to be logging in you're not going to have to put your food in i hate those apps where you have to put in a tablespoon of this and a, you're just going to put whether you ate optimally or not and some of y'all that are on here that have been in my program if you'll just post something and say you know i like the app i like the meditation i like the exercise or i like it all i think in the interview that i just did about an hour ago with martha 
She said, you know, this is like a one-stop shop. Nancy's program is comprehensive. So here's what you're gonna, what's gonna happen. At the end of the 90 days, or really, you know, Martha's 53 days in. I told her, I said, Martha, do you ever wonder what you're supposed to be eating? She said, no, I know exactly what to eat. Yeah, you know exactly what to eat. It's not complicated. Now, it that first few days, yes, it may be hard, but honestly, all of my clients posted this week about Thanksgiving. They said, I ate some of that stuff, but honestly, I didn't eat as much, and the next day I felt terrible. Because once you purify your system and cleanse it, and it happens quick, that's what's so amazing. Our bodies are, are amazing machines, and you can flip that switch from being a sugar burner to a fat burner really in just a very few days, and, and, and then you're just like, you're just, you're just going through, you're burning fat, you're getting healthy, your energy's up, you're sleeping better, you know. So I don't know why you wouldn't join unless, I mean, there's about 10% of the people that can do this on their own, but there's a reason why you got that extra 30, 40, 60, 80 pounds. There's a reason why. There's, you needed support, and that's what I'm offering. I'm offering coaching, and... Um, and, I'm, and I want to go with you, I want to go along with you daily. So you might be saying, well, this is expensive. Well, let me just say this. You know what's really expensive? It's health care. Medications are expensive. I know Tammy, to come off of her insulin, she's like, that was costing me a lot of money every, every month. And you're only going to have to take more and more and more. So there's Linda. She's saying it's life-changing. This app helps you to keep focused and guides you in your exercise. Thank you, Linda, for posting that. Yeah, and I'm proud of you too, by the way. Um, I'm sorry we didn't get to see you for supper tonight, but maybe next time we'll catch you. Um, so your other objection may be, well, what if I don't like the food? Well, if you don't like meat and vegetables and eggs, and some nuts and some seeds and some dairy, then I don't know what you're eating. Right. Well, you're probably eating sandwiches. You're probably eating chicken fingers and you're probably eating out. And I'm just going to tell you, it's not food. It really isn't food. It's, it's, it really is poison. I mean, I think about, you know, we went over to that restaurant tonight and it was a good meal. They had done a stir fry steak with onions and peppers and we ate it over lettuce instead of rice, okay? But um, when I think about going through the drive through I'm just like, why would I spend, you know, it's gonna be $10 for me and my husband if we go through and get a salad or whatever. And I'm just like, for $20, I can cook a lot of good food. So you gotta be willing to do the prep um, and you gotta be willing to purge your pantry now, you might, if you've got small children or grandchildren or whatever, what I suggest is that you put those things in a separate place that's off limits for you. Well, I'm gonna get, I, here's what I wanna share with you today. So I was cleaning up the house, you know, decorating my Christmas tree, setting up my table. I wanted to show you my table. I got it set up over there. I think I'll just take this little thing off of here and just show y'all my, um, well, there you go. I got my Christmas dishes set up. I got my little reindeer things. Got all that going. But today, I was I was kind of straightening up this room. Whoop. And um, I found a box of Skittles. Now, we did gingerbread houses this weekend. And so, this box of Skittles was left over here by the fireplace. So, I'm thinking, well, I'll just open it up. I mean, it was already open. I'll just open it up and put it in my candy dish, my little reindeer candy dish. So I did, and I set it on the corner over there. Now, I don't really even like Skittles. I walked by that candy dish twice, and both times I grabbed two Skittles. And you know what I did? I said, uh-uh, nope. I took that candy, I put it back in that box, I sealed it up, and I put it away. Because I won't go finding it, because I don't really like them that much. But it was just the temptation. So those are the kind of tips and tricks that you'll learn how to do it so that you can do it for the rest of your life. Yep, so I started on this journey, gosh, I guess it's been about nine years ago now, and I was 30 pounds heavier, and I hated going to the closet. I hated 
uh, those loose tops. I mean, how many of those can you have? I mean, I had a red one and a black one and a gold one and a brown one and a, you know, and, but I never liked them. I didn't like wearing them. I had always worn fitted things, you know, and this is even a little loose for me, but uh, I had always worn belted things. That was kind of the style back then. Um, but, um, yeah, and, and I didn't feel sexy at all. I mean, it, I mean that was when I was in my fifties, and I should have I should have felt that way, but I didn't because I'm like I didn't want my husband to grab me because he might grab some of my fat, you know, and that just I just I didn't have confidence, um, you know I it, it I just wasn't happy with myself, you know I was always dieting was every Monday was a new diet. Okay, I'm gonna try the soup diet, the egg diet, and by Wednesday or Thursday I was hangry. I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. And so I would relapse. Or then I thought just working out hard, you know, that would do it. I was teaching body pump three days a week. I was swimming, you know, I, I ran a gym, a 60,000 square foot place. I had several thousand members, but I, you know, but what I didn't know is that it was what I was eating and that I thought was healthy. So I got a coach and I lost the weight, and that's what I've been doing now for the last five years is helping people get to where I am. I'm doing it. I've been doing it for a while. I feel better than, I mean, I feel as good as I did in my 30s. You know, I have lots of energy. I sleep well. I did go through a little stage with the menopause where I wasn't sleeping well, but I've rectified that now. I'm feeling good about that. So um, let's see what else I want to tell you. Um, yeah, I, I feel... I love the clothes I wear. I love, I mean, I don't go shopping very much because I got a bunch of clothes in that closet that I could have been wearing those years. But, you know, my jeans, I've got jeans from 20 years ago that I love to wear. They're my American Eagle jeans. And you know what? I put those jeans in the back of the closet thinking, well, if I ever get sick, like cancer or something like that and get real skinny, I'd had that happen to some friends. I'm like, I'll be able to wear those jeans. Well, you know what? I didn't get sick, I got healthy and got in those jeans. And I love rocking those jeans, okay? So I'm here with you, I wanna help you. I'll pray for you every day, I pray for my clients. Um, you know, you can call me on the phone, we'll get on the phone and talk, but that's what's different about what I do, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of programs say they give you a coach to work with. How's my program different? I'm here. I am your coach. I'm going to know your name. I'm going to know about you. We're going to get on the phone and and um, talk to each other for 30, 45 minutes. I'm going to show you how to do the app, but I'm going to find out what it's going to take for you to get ready. And if you are ready, because if you're not ready, then I'm not ready for you because I love results. That's what I want. That's what I want for you is results. And here's what I don't want is another failure. And here's why. Another failure could be you give up. And you know what that means? That means more disease, more disease, more disease, more disease, more medication, more pain, more frustration, more depression. And you, you just pull back from life and you end up sitting on the sidelines. And who wants to do that? I don't want to, I mean, at 65, I want to be in the game. I don't want to be on the sidelines. And I want you to be in the game. And I have seen just that interview I did tonight, Celine, she said, I was so depressed. I was hurting, I, you know, just, and she's like, she's talking about now I want to get a job. I want to get out in public. I want to go to work. She said, but I couldn't even think about that. I was in so much pain and I couldn't eat, you know, so there's a lot of advantages. Okay. If you have any questions, post them in the, post them in the comments or, you know, just say, message me and say, um, uh, Let's see. Okay. It's easy to backslide. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. So, um, so it's easy. Just let's get on the phone. And I do accept payments. I never want money to be a reason why you wouldn't join my program. If you can pay a hundred dollars a month, I'll get. I'll. We'll. We'll get it going. And um, you know, you it, at the end of the night. Here's what's going to happen. On March the 6th, uh, hey, Kimberly, I see you. Yes. Uh, hey, Sarah Lynn, I'm sorry we missed you tonight. This is the best program I've ever done. Coach Nancy has responded. Every time I've had a question, 
her encouragement. Let me see what else you're saying here, Sarah Lynn. Thank you so much, and we missed you tonight. Uh, I know you've been sick. Well, it won't let me see more. Oh, well, it won't. I can't see more. Hey, Jackie, thank you for joining me. All right, so let me see. I was about to say something else. Oh, yep. We're gonna, I think I was talking about we're going to get on the phone. So I'm rambling along here, and I, and I want to close this off with the drawings. All right, so here we go. Okay, so let me see. I had drawn out a couple of names right here. Okay, so this one. Tonight, this is the swish. This is the glutathione product that you put in your mouth and you swish it, and it's nanotechnology, and I'm so excited about this. I don't want to distract you with this now. I don't want to go into all that, so I'll be doing some more. Uh, actually, I'm going to be having an event with uh, Rhonda Dasher, who uh, introduced me to this in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. But Tina Nelms won this, okay? So I'm going to get that out to Tina as soon as I get my products. I just ordered a lot more products so I'd be able to get it out to people. And this one goes to Charlotte Foskey. So Charlotte's going to get the skin uh, product. So thank you um, for sharing. So right now, uh, yes, yay Tina. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so share my, you know, hit that little button that lets it go out to the world. Because what happens is when you share it, it goes into your feed and all your friends will see it. So I'm sure some of you have friends that are diabetic and pre-diabetic. I want to talk to them. I want to, I want them to know that they can come off of that medicine. You do not have to, you can reverse your insulin resistance, but you do it by getting your carbs, getting the sugar out of your blood and doing the intermittent fasting. So, um, Thank you for joining me. If I don't have your email, give me your email. I've got an email that's going out in the morning. I think it's the one on, well, I can't really say. I think it's the one on Alzheimer's. I don't think I ever sent that out. Um, yeah, so let me hear from you. Thank you for joining me. And um, yes, y'all have a good night. Okay, Sarah Lynn, I've already come off two of my medicines for diabetes. Yay! Everybody, somebody want to hit the clap? Isn't there a clap option? Way to go. Woohoo! Sarah Lynn, that is, you know, that is literally life changing. Is that's not just medicine. That is a life change. And here's what here's what I want for some of y'all. Some of y'all are headed toward medication. And I want to stop that. No, you don't want to take that medicine. You don't want to take the medicine. Let's reverse it. Yep. Okay, so Ariel has posted a free Facebook group. Uh, you can click on that link and join my masterclass. That's where all the videos get posted. And uh, to join, you'll have to put in your email, but that gets you in my email. So you're getting all my emails. Got some exciting things coming up. So um, let me hear from you. And happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all those good things. And we'll talk soon. Now, tomorrow night, got a special treat. I'm going to be doing an interview with Ariel. She's going to hop on, and, and we're going to do an interview just to answer some questions you have. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Maybe there's something you need to know, or, you know, if I have this, can I do it, and whatever, you know. So just let me know, like, is it, it's ketosis, it's intermittent fasting, it's so many other things. So click over to that group and go back and watch some of my videos. All right. So let's talk soon. Thanks for joining me.